Hello, this is methodology talk number five. And it's a very important subject. It's about turning out. And turning out is the base of all you do in ballet. In fact, the name is en dehors, and that means outward. As you probably know, King Louis XIV in France, in about 1680, started l'Académie Royale de la Danse. And in this Académie Royale, the Royal Academy for Dancing, uh, the professionals of dance named the positions of the feet, the steps. So in all the world we use until now and in the future with ballet all these French names. Now why do we turn out? The very first reason was this king Louis XIV. He must have been a wonderful dancer. And in these times, it was a royal thing, dancing. And because he was the king, he always took the principal roles. So we know him all as Le Roi Soleil, the king of the sun, in Le Ballet de la Nuit, in the, in a, in the Ballet of the Night. It was sophisticated, it looked very nice and royal, and they did not turn out so much as we, they were on high heels, but there was already a turning out. Look, this looks more royal than this. So that was the reason. Second reason, a little later, they started building the theaters. And now the audience, is sitting in a line up to see the stage. But in these times, the first theaters, the audience, and we still have them, look at the Bolshoi in Moscow, they are flat. So what did they do? They built the stage upwards. So when you have a stage that is at the back higher than in the front, you slip downwards if you do not turn out your feet. And that is also, by the way, we talk about you go downstage, so that's to the front of the stage, and upstage is the back of the stage. So this was slippery. And turning out, you don't slip. But the third reason is the most important for us now. Because turning out in the hip joints gives more freedom in the legs, to turn out, to move. For example, lifting the leg a la seconde with a not turned out leg. Now, this is my final point. I cannot go hi higher without tilting my hips. But when I turn out, I can go on. So this is a very uh, fine things to do, but we have to learn it. It is very, you should be very neat with it. How do you know how far you can turn out? No, that's very simple. Lay on the floor, flat, with your back on the floor, and your legs in front of you, and relax completely. And then your legs will fall outwards. Then you will notice probably that one leg is able to do more than the other one. But it is then a very relaxed thing. But when we are turning out and coming on our legs, it starts to be difficult. And we have to learn this very well. So look at our junior classes. I do every time we start a class, uh, uh, an exercise for the turning out, to get the force, to get the strength, and to know the place where to do it. We turn out not in the feet, not in the knee, because that's really dangerous. You can damage your joints. We're turning out at the top of the thigh and in the bowel of your pelvis. So imagine you have here a little boil. When you look at the, an, at the picture of the anatomy, you will see it. There is a bowel. And you have here the top of your thigh, and he is here placed in the boil. 
Now, what do we need? We need to make space to turn this leg outwards. When we are not making place, you cannot move. So, we are pulling our belly muscles and mostly the obliques up, pulling up your spine up, so your pelvis is moving away from your legs. What are your legs doing? They are stretching away from your pelvis. So then you get this little gap, this little place to turn out your leg. You can feel it when you are on two pieces of paper and you turn out your leg, you will notice it happens here. And what's very important, and I told it already, taking the inside of the right leg to your right armpit, taking the inside of your left leg to your left armpit. So you are opening the legs. Be very neat with the arm, the your principle. And you have to exercise it very, very well, well because you can damage your knees, your ankles, and your feet when you do not use the arm de or well. So I hope you understand. If you have questions, you can contact me by the internet. Thank you very much.